Hello artist and welcome to Mr. Melvin Makes. Today I'm working on a silly art challenge in which I draw and disguise a turkey. I begin by drawing the six steps to the left to make a turkey, and then I'm going to go ahead and add details that turn this turkey into something different. While you're following along, see if you can tell how I disguised my turkey. <laughs> but now you might have noticed that I have drawn a visco turkey. The students in my classroom keep talking about visco girls, especially because I've got my orange hydro flask on my desk at all times. So I drew a turkey in that kind of visco outfit, scrunchy, oversized shirt, all of that stuff I hear about. And now I'm just going to go ahead and finish my drawing with other drawing supplies like Sharpie, crayon, colored pencil, and marker. You might have noticed while I was drawing, I started with pencil, and I used my eraser a lot. In a second here, you're going to see another trick that I can do after I'm done outlining with my eraser, just to make my artwork look a little bit more clean. So here's my tip of the video. If you're drawing like me, uh, you might have made a lot of scratchy lines or sketchy lines across your paper. What I like to do is actually leave those and then outline over them. Once my Sharpie or marker is dry, I take an eraser and then erase all of the pencil underneath. Sometimes you'll still see kind of the remains of those pencil lines. You'll see here in a second that I couldn't erase it 100%, but as I add color on top of my um, paper, a lot of those pencil marks disappear. I know for me that's frustrating as an artist to see my mistakes, but I know as I keep working those will disappear over time. To show your creativity with this art challenge, you can think about a way your disguise relates to your turkey. For example, I know the Visco girls talk often about saving the turtles, which is a super important thing to think about. I'm going to take that idea and spin it just a little bit. Instead of writing save the turtles, I'm going to write save the turkey across the feathers of my disguised turkey. Again, just another way to show my creativity. As I continue forward, I'm going to add details to continue making my artwork just a little bit more finished, special, and creative. Enjoy while you follow along. In the end here, you can see I've made sure to cover as much of my white paper as possible with crayons, markers, and colored pencils. That way I can tell that my artwork is finished, and I can say that I'm proud of the effort I've put into my, my art today. With my signature in the bottom corner, I am going to say I'm finished with my artwork. I have one final step, um, just because I have some extra time today. I'm going to take my art and glue it onto a larger sheet of paper, just so that it looks like it's on a picture frame. Remember, when you're using glue, try to use only what you need. A couple of dots on the back is all you need, so I'm going to drop nine dots of glue on the back of my paper, set it onto my orange paper so that it looks like it's on an orange picture frame, and then just write a little title so I can remember this picture later. Happy making, artists, and enjoy!